Malwarebytes just released a significant update 2.0. In this short video I'm going to show you where to download it and how to download and install this new version of Malwarebytes. First and foremost, do not search for Malwarebytes using a search engine. Go to Malwarebytes.org. Here's the address. Once there, you can choose whether you want the free one or the premium. The only difference being is that if you buy the premium, it will automatically update and scan for you. Free version, you have to do the updates and scans yourself. So we're going to do the free today. Click free version. Depending on your browser, the update should automatically start. Once the download completes, you can go to your downloads folder or wherever you saved the download and you should see this file or something similar to it, mbam-setup. This is malware bytes. If you don't have this particular file or something very similar, then you did not start in malwarebytes.org. You need to delete the file and start over. Now let's install malware bytes. Double click on the download and run the program. Choose your language, click OK, click Next, accept the agreement, click Next, click Next again, choose where you want to install it or just leave it as the default and it'll overwrite your old malware bytes if you already have one. Click Next, click Next again, click Next again, click Install. And this last screen is very important. Don't click Finish right away. If you don't want to enable the free trial, which will then bug you for payment, make sure you uncheck this. That way you don't get bugged for payment after 14 days or 30 days. So uncheck the box, click Finish. The new Malwarebytes interface has changed a lot. And they are trying to push you to buy their premium, but don't worry about these two buttons up here. If you want to stay with the free, that's perfectly okay. You're also going to get this big giant red alert if you've not run a scan or if you're, you're out of date, that kind of thing. So I would say pretty much ignore everything on this screen except for the scan and the update. So we're going to update the database here by clicking update now. Once updated you'll get a green check mark. So the next button we're going to look at is the scan button at the very top of the screen. Click scan and with the free version you have a threat scan and a custom scan. The threat scan will take between as little as 5 minutes but as much as 15 minutes depending on your computer and how much data is on the computer. The custom scan will let you choose what you want to scan and where you want to scan. So those are the only two differences. So that's also a slight change from the previous versions of Malwarebytes. Once you choose and click your start scan, you will see that the look of the scanning system has also changed a little. So the new Malwarebytes will show you exactly what the scan is doing at the moment. Unfortunately, the progress bar is not a true progress bar, so you're not going to be able to tell how quickly the scan is going to finish. Once the scan is finished, you will be alerted by the program whether or not it found any problems by this little area right here, objects infected. I didn't have any on my scan, but if you did, it would look similar to this. And instead of having to make decisions as before, I'm just going to recommend that you click Quarantine All down in this, this button in the lower left corner, and then you're finished with the scans. So that's it. That's the new Malware Bytes. 